Hello and welcome to my second video. I know the first video went on a bit about uh, the coin dealers in Australia and didn't have much coin related content. I hope that isn't a problem for people. Now, I just wanna showcase some of the small pickups I did buy. There wasn't many. I am limited in terms of funds. But I bought this one from, from Downey's. It's a 10 fancy of the Rooster Luna One colorized. It's actually 750 gold, it's not 999. And I didn't pay that. So one of the things is when you, you go in and you make yourself known, if people like who you are, people will do business with their friends and are people they're friendly with. I actually hit it off with Steve. I thought he was a great guy. And I managed to get this down to 210. I could have pushed it further. I reckon it would have come down to 200. I don't think he would have dropped below 200. Um, but I am more than happy to build a bridge. I might keep this. I haven't decided. You know, it's... Nice coin, you know. I actually saw this exact same coin for $300 uh, in IS Wright. And I why I haven't looked at their prices. They're very fair. They're very, very fair in how they sell. I think my principles are more aligned with IS Wright's principles than they are with Downey's, as it's a different part of the market. But yeah, the mark is on the on the packaging, by the way. So yeah, I got this for two ten. It worked out to be around one hundred twenty pounds, and I'm okay with that. You know, I think there's money in that. I think it's worth about one fifty. But like I said, I might actually keep it. So, it's a it's a unique item. It, I don't think they did the colorized for all of the gold. Let me know what you think of that. You know, it's it's not everyone's cup of tea. Now, I did actually buy some stuff from the Melbourne Mint from the Rude guy, or the autistic guy, one of the two. Now, I want to clarify. I do actually have a few autistic friends, and I'm not having to dig at autistic people. I was just really, really annoyed at the way I was treated in the sense that you should never quote someone a price and then jack your prices up when someone else is in the shop. It's, that's not okay. It's a really, really shit way to deal with people. And the fact that he wouldn't budge just annoyed me. It just struck me of some of my friends who are not as flexible as uh, some of my non-autistic friends, but it's not a good or bad point. Some of the smartest people I know are autistic. So I'm not saying that to be politically correct. That's genuinely how I feel, but it, it annoyed me to no end, this guy, when I went in. I did buy this off him. So it's a half gram kangaroo. I think it cost me around 20, 21 pound and change. Nice coin. He did check it out for me. They, they do have an XRF scanner. It actually picks up really well on camera. It looks awful on outside of camera because it the cap is all scratched let's see let's go for times two that yeah, looks pretty decent times two so yeah the, it wasn't a bad price i said to him i'd take it this was after he declined me on five hundred dollars worth of stuff I also bought these off him. Um, don't usually buy colorized coins. That's the packaging that mark, by the way. It's the packaging. However, you notice there's a theme going on. Uh, I need to come out for this one. Four seasons. Actually, I'll do that. So yeah, these are the Four Seasons vinyl. They're not painted, they're actually, it's actually a very nice job, year 2000. Not really a fan of these types of coins. However, for the price I paid, I think I've done very well. I think I paid 13 and change on these. Uh, he was treating them as, like he almost looked down on them, like, oh, we've got these. Uh, I can't think of the word he said. 
but it's certainly not a word I would have used when trying to sell something. I think he was pretty annoyed with me uh, also when I went in there. So I did, I'm not gonna say I was rude to him, but I wasn't happy. Uh, I might have said that him putting the price up was a piss take, which it was. But also, if someone else makes a mistake, don't, if you're working with someone, do not um, put the blame on someone when they're not there to defend themselves. Awful way, it's an awful way to portray yourself as a business. If I had staff and one of my staff members did that, I would be thinking long and hard about if I want them to work for me. It's not okay. So, what do you think? I think these are quite nice. So I think some people think these are tacky but I do genuinely actually like these, which is rare for me, because I'm not a big fan of colour coins. I'm really not. Says the guy who's just shown to, <laughs> this is a colourised <laughs> colourised one as well, actually. I think that looks classy though. I think a lot of colourised coins look a bit tacky. So. I think they've done a good job. Good job on this. So yeah, these were the coins I bought. I will be buying more when funds permit. I'm actually applying for jobs at the moment. It's crazy, everyone said to me, oh, Australia's really expensive. And then the more I think about it, it's, it's not actually that expensive. If you can get a job though here, you are laughing. You're absolutely laughing. Like, it's one of the people I've come with. I'll show you one of the it's actually my girlfriend. I should probably mention that first. She, uh, she got a job interview for day, uh, today, actually. And the job's paying like eighty five thousand dollars. It's like forty eight thousand pounds, fifty pounds, fifty thousand pounds. You just think that's madness, absolute madness. So good luck to her. I hope she gets it. As long as she doesn't brag about it for the next week. <laughs> so yeah, these were the pickups I had. I I hope you enjoyed them. I hope I can put out some more content. Uh, sooner rather than later, my channel has not been the most consistent that I'm not going to lie about. It's been for obvious reasons. But yeah, tell me what you think of my pickups. And take care. Bye-bye.